Hi friends, welcome back to Inspo English. I am Xavier Kays, your English teacher. Friends, today I am here with a worksheet, a combined worksheet for subject and predicate and uh, subject verb agreement. This worksheet is to check your understanding of both these uh, topics, subject and predicate and uh, subject to verb agreement. Okay, the golden principle in English grammar. The verb must agree with its subject, both in person and number. And what is subject and predicate? Something about which we speak is the subject and what is spoken of the subject is the predicate. So I have divided it into two parts. The first part uh, I have included uh, some five sentences uh, that is on a subject and predicate and the second part some six sentences and that is on subject to verb agreement. Let's get started with them. In the first part what you have to do is rearrange the following sentences into meaningful combinations with proper punctuation and divide them into a subject and predicate. So what we have to uh, do is uh, rearrange the sentence uh, in the proper way. You know, a sentence is a meaningful combination of words. So, uh, make it a meaningful combination with proper punctuation and then you have to divide it into subject and predicate. Okay, let's uh, come to the first sentence. Slavery, America, Lincoln in abolished Abraham. I haven't even put a full stop there. You have to do it. Okay. Then, Tagore won for literature the Nobel Prize Rabindranath 1913 in. Tagore won for literature the Nobel Prize uh, Rabindranath 1913 in. Third one, 10,000 saw so I at a glance. Perhaps you may know this line, very familiar to you, a line from the famous popular poem by William Wordsworth, that is Daffodils, okay? Uh, with the poetic license, they have uh, given it in a, he has given it in a jumbled order. You put it in the prose order, okay? 10,000 so I at a glance. Fourth one. Uh, independent, the Jawaharlal was Nehru Prime Minister first of India. Independent, the Jawaharlal was Nehru Prime Minister first of India. The fifth one, a comparatively longer one. Okay, wanted followers his to win Gandhiji for India, the weapon of using based on non-cooperation, uh, freedom for India, truth and non-violence. Maybe a little bit difficult, but with patience you can work it out. Uh, as a uh, tip, uh, I can tell you, when you uh, rearrange uh, a jumbled order, into a meaningful combination, what you have to do is just think about the meaning conveyed uh, through that sentence and then start the work. The work will be, the task will be very easy. Okay, uh, so let's come to the second part and uh, I have, as I said, included six sentences, subject verb agreement, on subject verb agreement. They are very simple, but they all uh, are, um, I mean, there are some grammatical rules applied here. Think about it and start doing. Hari and Ravi dash friends. Is friends, are friends, which is the correct choice. You have to decide based on your knowledge of uh, the topics that you have covered already. My friend and benefactor dash come, has come or have come. My friend and benefactor has come or have. Come. Which one is the correct option? Neither he nor I dash there was there or were there. Fourth one, the news dash true is true or are true. The news are true, the news is true. Then fifth one, the quality of mangoes dash not good, was not good, were not good. Sixth and the last one, the notorious decoit 
with his followers dash escaped has escaped have escaped so these are the 5 plus 6 11 sentences on two topics the first one that is uh, subject and predicate and second one subject to verb agreement try to do it don't worry i'll be back with the answer key very soon uh, till then goodbye and thank you